Welcome to this video playing Tacticus again from Hungary. Sultan Medvegi. Medvegi. Okay. The English opening. I'm not sure how he plays it. Oh, with g6. Okay. So we're going to transpose into this Panov, Panov setup. Um, that's a very interesting way to play. I play this uh, as black myself. I was just uh, trying to think of what to do. I guess I start with queen b3. It's not clear. I can also start with bishop c4. This is a neat little trick. Oh, e6. Check. We get this. This um, this interesting position. Black has got two bishops, but uh, he also has a slightly weakened formation with uh, pawns all on light squares and uh, yeah, the dark squares are are a problem. Let's see. Can I do something? How can I play this? I can just develop, obviously, bishop f4 and rook c1, things like that. I wonder, can I get, can I do something, something different? Get this bishop exchanged somehow. It's not, uh, not really apparent. Okay, let's just complete development rook to c1 the usual stuff he might play c5 here yeah just like that maybe i can manage queen b3 bishop d2 b4 it would be nice f6 was was played to patch up the e5 square very common way to play here um if I go to b3, is he, what is he doing? He cannot play queen b5, eh? e6 hangs. He can trade, but I'm not sure about that. I mean, I have knight d2, c4, a5, those kind of ideas. Interesting. And to rook b8, this bishop f4. Very um, interesting structural transposition here there also was a game Aronian Gale fan from the candidates 2013 where they played this opening I think they also got to an end game of this this type not not entirely sure but it was it was this opening and maybe um, <clears throat> this this kind of this kind of end game. Okay, isn't this a double attack? B6 and A5? <clears throat> Maybe he didn't uh, really see that B6 is... Yeah, I can, I can win the exchange now. Check. Mm, probably should. Check. Probably really should. Um, the check, yeah, I check. guess it, flicking this in is probably a good idea. Um, I forgot about this one. Um, need to get the bishop traded. Hmm. Rook c4 is bishop a6. So there's some way to get it traded. Or maybe I first play this. And now I can can get in rook c2, bishop d2. Okay. Activate the king. This is not a... a not a super easy technical task. I mean, white should I should win it. I mean, not uh, not managing would be disappointing, but it's not like um, 
looks like uh, super easy and obvious I guess still here in bishop d2 can I get maybe the king over first he might have e5 okay this is probably useful in any case this and then bishop d2 ah okay g5 probably okay rook d4 bishop takes rook takes this rook d8 and i'm trapping his bishop so i probably get the the bishop trade in now And if, if we exchange rooks, it should be pretty simple. Rook d4, bishop takes, rook d1, I mean, this should be should be a very simple win. Yeah. King c2, rook c4, and then I'm pushing him back. Um, maybe g5 still. And bishop g6. But okay, I, I have a setup here with rook on c3 that um, is very it's very tough for him to ah, okay can go ah, okay that's not bishop b5 rook e3 wins easily threatening rook e4 and rook e6 okay so i can Check. i can push him back now if i go here bishop d5 mm, ah, that's it's a bit bit awkward for the rook in fact okay I better better improve the rook first here and now he can go to d4 again this this was stupid mm. Ooh, this was not good just just not good ah oh how bad did i play that time ah, unspeakable hmm Check. Is there even even a way to to make make something happen here? Maybe with f five. I still want to try to win. I was uh, played this like a total idiot. Of course, now I can also lose it giving him those pawns but ah man that was really really terrible check i cannot even go to a6 that's it gets better and better Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, terrible game. I mean, not the first part. The first part I played okay. Maybe I can somehow still draw it. Check. Check. Yeah, 
edit. Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah, I can actually, this is one of those cases where I should be shot for this, this game. Unbelievable. Black was completely busted and I didn't didn't put this away. This endgame is totally winning. Totally. Uh, Rook d2, he can just resign. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, ah. <sighs> yeah, this is totally, totally over. Okay, let's check how I played it. And uh, I, th I really thought once I get him back there, it should be easy. But the problem was I wanted to originally play this, of course. But my rook is in a bit of trouble on the on the fourth rank. I mean, where is the rook going? Maybe, maybe this this is probably probably the win. But this was not easy to figure out. Yeah, this wins. This wins rather easily. And it all started when I didn't do that. Around here, black gets um, gets very active, very active position. Still, of course, I shouldn't lose, but I wanted to still try to win it. Check. And uh, this is probably inadvisable. F5, yeah, computer still gives me a pretty clear win, but it wasn't Check. it wasn't easy and here it's not 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 good anymore rook d4 is stronger yeah i mean i definitely shouldn't lose but by now we come to a position where black is just easier to play rook b6 was especially idiotic i can just play rook h6 this is much better i, I will get this yeah, I can draw, but this was just uh, the the whole trend was was just simply bad from this totally winning position to too tricky, too too lost. I um, I made one one very crucial mistake Check. here. Here I should have spent uh, some some more time maybe to figure out if my rook is trapped. If it is not trapped, then this is a simple win because his king is is held back, held back here, and uh, he has no way to defend this. This is the, the best line the comp is giving. And I can always go to A4, of course. Ah, I totally forgot about A4. Yeah, then this is very simple. I only need to make sure my rook is getting back into play. And then this is very easy because now my queen side is not weak and I will just invade with the rook. That's a pretty, pretty simple technical win. Oh man, thanks for watching.